All right, sir. All right. Totally hear you. I'll go ahead and get you that Italian espresso and then... <gasps> Yes! We've just completed the newest project, you guys! We can now get scratch post bouncy balls, toy bells, and fish plushies for our cats! Oh, that's so wonderful! Let's go ahead and start on our next project, which I definitely think should be going ahead and getting more cats. Being able to fill up our cat cafe with even more cats would be super important. Uh, and then adding chair limits or maybe unlocking more of the furniture should definitely be the next goal we have. So let me think, uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna get more cats because people are coming to this cat cafe to cuddle cats. And we have some stray kitties that actually could use pets. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. What a busy, busy day we have. Unfortunately, we can't take in Brian or Missy, but I can give them pets and food, which I totally am going to. And then I've got some orders to take for some new foods. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, ooh, look at that. And she actually took the order. Yes, and she's actually delivering the food. This is fantastic. But hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to Cat Cafe Manager, where you can see we have had a very, very busy start to the day with the Tiny Tigers Cat Cafe, which is slowly but surely getting its feet under itself and uh, getting to the point where we can start making a lot of new fantastic food for everyone, especially because my cooking skill is now up to level five. All right, I'm gonna prepare this coffee. And we have a new employee who is actually able to like serve coffees and do things for us really, really quickly, which is very satisfying. All right. Well, yeah, it's busy. I feel like every time we start, I have to kind of like slow down for a second over here so we can all take a deep breath together <laughs> and not get overwhelmed by just how much there is to do all of the time. But I am loving this. This is just so much fun. It is totally a delight to go ahead and like spend my mornings doing. I'm really just tickled. All right, we've already expanded. There we go. So we just expanded our little cafe with the material that the punks have actually brought us. So I'm happy that we were able to do a little bit of upgrading uh, and then we can do some decorating. I'm gonna move a few things around. We're gonna wanna get some toys for the cats, but honestly, what I'm really excited about is the fact that, uh, can I, oh, this is so cute. I didn't know I could like turn where my coffee machine goes. <gasps> That's adorable. I can't wait to decorate my, my whole place a little bit nicer as a result. Here, I'm gonna put my fridge over here then. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna be enough room for everyone. Uh, and it doesn't look as nice as having it all lined up at the back, I guess. But still, that's really cute, you guys. I didn't know I could arrange things like this. Oh, okay, coffee, I'll put that over there. I want a little counter somewhere. This is gonna be so fun. I can't wait to continue just upgrading this and making our cafe, like there's a lot of room to upgrade, making our cafe look a lot nicer. Um, gosh, and getting more cats and like more staff. And giving the kitties like a home once we have, I think these three are going to be kind of like our base cats. And then we're going to have more kitties that we can actually go ahead and give happy homes to sooner than later. So this is wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and clean up some of these messes. We can skip to morning. We'll go ahead and do that. I can't believe Arl was such a jerk to us. And now that it's the next day, let's actually go into town really quickly. And oh, I can get the hipster cutter cutting board, yes! Okay, now that we have the hipster cutting board, I feel like we can really start making huge progress. <laughs> we can start thinking about putting in more plants. I can actually start going ahead and replacing some of my old bad chairs and tables with more basic nice things. I think today we're going to be working with vagabonds. Also, if I wanna make herbal tea, I'm gonna need more herbs. I'm gonna need more coffee. Okay, we've gotta be really careful about that. Like stay on top of the tea and coffee. And then we can get little basic scratching posts and bouncy balls and toy bells, which add to play time, which we have zero of for our cats right now. It looks like we really need to make the business people happy <laughs> in order to do that. But today we're gonna go ahead and we are going to, let's see, I wanna serve veggie sammies so i think i need witches 
so that I can get more neck like more nectar to buy more ingredients. Um, and I really want to expand our place and I do want to get better chairs. So we're going to work on expansion today. And then let me see about decoration. Yay, look at that! The little hipster cutting board! And we can go in and I can now take out one of the moldy chairs. Ew, it's moldy? That's really gross. And put in one of the other chairs. I do hope we unlock different styles of furniture before I spend a whole bunch of our points on chairs. So hopefully we'll get to the more cats and then we'll be able to go ahead and we'll be able to unlock some of the cuter furniture. But all right, let's do this! Why did you sit on the moldy chair? I literally just got a new chair to prevent this problem. Oh, hello kitties. I, I We're gonna just let the stray kitties kind of be because we've already pet them as much as we can. And I'm going to call, we're gonna call Bonner over. I'm gonna call that jerk Arwell over again, just so that we can get that out of the way. All right. Oh, I love it when there's like orders for food that goes up. And look, Aaron is such a big help. I don't have to rely just on myself to do all the deliveries anymore. If she would actually get moving, she's supposed to serve this guy. All right, there we go. I think because she's still like a level two employee, she's not the highest employee just yet, but we'll get there. All right, and Arwell, you jerk. Enjoy. I hope people start like ordering some of my fancier food. If they order fancier food, I wonder if you get, like, better hearts from them? I think you do. So maybe I'll take some things off the menu. Uh, and then let's actually have- well, we're gonna train Nico, the cat, with Punks a little bit more. Because he is a, a floating party cat, and I feel like Punks should appreciate that a little bit. Alright. Vagabonds mostly want water. <gasps> Yes, we have just unlocked the cat slots. We can have more kitty cats, you guys. All right, so let's actually add to the chair limit. Um, and then I really want the tea room furniture so I can start getting cuter things and then get the fantasy furniture because I have a feeling I'm going to want the fantasy furniture most of all. Uh, rustic table, curly tree. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I would want a curly tree as well, because that would be really fun. Um, what else do we have here? More food bowls that we can put down. More staff. Let's work on more chairs, because the more people we have, the faster we get hearts. All right, so let's see. I'm going to experiment with this by taking... Let's see, black coffee is good for artists and business people, but I have Italian espresso and black tea. So I'm gonna take black coffee off to see if I can kind of gently push people like pretzels. So vagabonds, I'm gonna take water off to try to push the vagabonds into getting pretzels instead of water. And we're gonna see what happens. All right, then we'll get some herbal tea. And then I can serve that, and it looks like I can actually use the points to train staff. Do I want to train myself? I think I do want to train myself, or I could train Erin to become better at service uh, or cooking. I'm going to train her. She's going to just take over, like, service for me. Night Owl! When the sun sets, they set to work 50% to all skills after 6 p.m. Or terrific. Or diner. Oh, man! Okay, so she could be terrific with me with tea room furniture, plus two to all skills and at least four pieces of tea room furniture are present. Okay, that's, we're gonna go for that one, to be honest. And I'm gonna just up her, like, service. And then I'm gonna focus on being able to do a bunch of great cooking and cat care. And maybe a little bit of my service in the future, too. Dang it, this vagabond ordered water. Our well stares down at you. Take that hike. Wow, that actually worked. Before you head for the mountains, I've got some place, uh, some thoughts on this place. The cats are great, but I can't on, but I honestly can't with the food here. Uh, didn't take you for a chef. Chef, this ain't about refined techniques, kid. This grub, this grub lacks oomph funk. Uh, chudzba. It doesn't crawl up my throat and yell, "Here I am, I am food. You will eat me," or something. Uh, okay, so let's see. You gotta grab that by the horns, don't you? No. All right, I feel ya. That's right, you do. Cooking's all about the feeling, you know? Look, kid, I'll be honest with ya. This town's in trouble. 
It's that hockey ball corporation. They've been getting their dirty talons all up in everyone's business. I'll be first to admit, I ain't clever enough to figure out what they're planning on doing, but I know I don't like it. Uh, I mean, I really don't know if there's much we can do. You sound like Matteo right now. You gonna turn traitor too, new kid? This town's in the pits, a total hole, but it's m my hole, darn it. What I'm saying is, the way this cafe is going, Hawkable's just gonna buy you up like the rest of this darn town. That's why you gotta do something about this food, and I guess I'll help. Now pay attention. Arwell spent some time talking about cooking techniques. You're not sure you've got it all, but appreciate his enthusiasm. Wow, so he's actually secretly a big chef and received pretty girl gun cat model. <laughs> Entertainment and tech and expensive. What? I did not expect that series of events from Arwell. I suppose I appreciate his assistance. We'll just casually slide this into the back corner, I guess. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, hey, we can expand our shop, which is a great thing. So like I said, I've been thinking about like making different rooms. I think right now we're going to try to expand quite a bit to for okay, like over this direction. And as we expand, we'll maybe move down a little bit, have like a cute little tea room, maybe a little greenhouse room in the front. <gasps> I would love to make that a greenhouse. My beloved husband Chips was actually laughing last night because he was watching me play RimWorld of all things and he said, I'm amazed at how any game you play you turn into a like farm and a let's build a zoo scenario. And that is very true. We're gonna have that here too. This time the zoo is cats. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna take an order over here. I guess we can go ahead and put down the moldy chair even though it's not something I want to keep like for forever. Oh, no, 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 we need to finish upgrading the chair limit. That's right, that's what we're working on right now. Yay! How are people still ordering my water when I am trying to get them pretzels? Because pretzels, we'll see if that guy is upset about not getting his water and getting pretzels instead. Because I really want people to like, I have the fancier abilities. Please order my fancier food. All right, he seems sad there's no water, so I'm gonna put water back on. Even though I want people to like order my, what was the point of getting my <laughs> expensive, like new upgrades if you're not gonna use them, people? Like, honestly. All right, we'll walk around here. How we doing? I need more punks, I think. But I, I am also pulling in witches. I feel good on the witches. So I think we have enough witches. And then Vagabonds and Punks. <sighs> what else do I want to work on? I guess I want more room for the cats, but I feel like I really need to focus on physically expanding our place right now. And believe it or not, that means I'm heavily reliant on the assistance of Punks. So we just have to wait it out. I would like to get better walls and everything too. There we go. Oh, Stray Kitties looking for food. Yay, and we just unlocked more seats, woo. Let's work on that tea room furniture so that we can try to make this place a lot cuter. The townsfolk filled with delight have helped a lot in restoring the cat shrine. You decide to go take a look. <gasps> Is something fancy about to happen? A pair of eyes peer at you from the edge of the clearing. Greetings once more, little thing. I see you have taken my advice to heart. An unexpected turn of events. Humans tend to ignore a cat's advice. As a reward, I will answer uh, but one of the little thing's questions, which will no doubt quiver upon its inquisitive lips. Um, why is the shrine so important? The shrine itself is of little importance. What the shrine stands for, however, is... Many moons ago, the shrine was built by humans. Humans like yourself, but a cruder, ruder sort. At first, they wished simply to share the valley with the cats that had already called their home. They built the shrine to remind themselves of that fact, but it came to mean a lot more. Something I wish for is the humans of this valley to remember. For restoring the shrine, you, may, you deserve my thanks. I shall place many dead birds at your door. Uh, please no. You have no say in this matter. Mangled bird delivery is our sacred duty. That's why you shouldn't have wild cats. <laughs> no, they're so horrible for the environment. They're truly an invasive species. Uh, but that's why we're gonna give them all homes, you guys. That's enough questions for Meow. I will seek you out again once the shrine is looking more restored. And one more thing, little thing. One more thing, little thing. Keep your eyes on those hawks, those hawkable acquisition humans. 
It's not the first time such humans came to this valley, and it did not end well that time either. Rather than leave, it seems as if the light in the clearing fades for a moment, after which the black cat is simply gone. Whoa, all right. And we just unlocked a Steam achievement called The Gift of the Bird. Well, there we have it, friends. Wow, all right, well, let's go ahead and skip to like the next day. I'm gonna check in on our vagabonds. They are not happy if I do not provide them with the water. And as a result, I think we get fewer materials. Uh, we get a lot of delight. We're getting happier and happier people. The uh, Arwell really wanted root beer. Apparently that's his secret thing. And the witches would be ecstatic if we had more plants. I knew I loved them. And the business people really are uncomfortable. They wanna have more comfort. So we need to start working on having more comfortable chairs. Uh, but the business people are hanging out with the cats. Their delight is going up. Let's see. And yeah, for the witches, it looks like we can make the witches 100% happy if we just give them another plant like bonus, which I guess we could get another litter box. I'm gonna need another litter box if we have <laughs> more animals and if more getting more cats would have made that punk happy. All right, we're starting to figure it out. I'm putting the pieces together. Uh, what should I go ahead? Should I have business people come today? Should we continue expanding? There's so many options. No one is ordering my veggie sammies. So I'm kind of like, what's the point of my veggie sammies then? Like, dude, what was the point? What was the point if I don't even have veggie sammies? Fine, we're gonna focus on making the cats happy. So we're gonna try to get them just a ton of fish and gold. That is going, I'm just gonna put down cat toys equals uh, fish and gold. And basically it's fish and gold above like 228 and basically like 300 gold. We'll just say once we've got that much, we'll come back and take a peek. So with that in mind, we're gonna actually change things up a little bit. I still need some punks, but we're gonna invite in the uh, people with the gold and the people with the fish, and we're gonna make these cats happy. So all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this big adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for Erin, our new assistant, and for the fact we can now have more cats, more seats, and more fun. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, I'm sorry I don't have root here do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!